because you're all we have. InfoWars, right? An independent press to try to get the word out to the public because the public is mesmerized by the mainstream media. And let me give you my opinion of the mainstream media. The mainstream media is, uh, their mission is, is to act as the most effective weapon of mass deception and public manipulation the world has ever seen. And if you don't think that's so, ask anyone any taboo question that the mainstream media frowns upon with its ho uh, army of trusted celebrity prostitutes. All right? We've seen and, that and, and you will see a sadly predictable knee-jerk reactionary response from the public because that's what they've been trained to believe and trust in. Thank you so much. Okay. My pleasure. Well, Liam Mackett reporting from Times Square, and there you have it. The people are ready for truth. It does not matter how many of these anniversaries go by, the truth will reveal itself in due time. It was almost as if it were a planned implosion. It just pancaked. Well, pancaking almost like a precision implosion. Just reminiscent of those pictures we've all seen too much on television before when a building was deliberately destroyed, destroyed by well-placed dynamite to knock it down. A clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different cleansing products. We use decades old scientific research to put together the Rolls Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. If we're in a free country, why are we afraid to just talk about an event that was the most traumatic event in our history? I originally believed the official story, I aggressively defended it. When I first started cracking open that little window that there could be possibly more to this story, I went through every emotion, just like probably a lot of you here who didn't originally believe it or consider it are going through. And I didn't want to believe it, I came up with every excuse not to believe it. Any building that succumbs to fire, that collapses, starts usually with large gradual deformations and the building will begin to fall over, not straight down through the path of what was the greatest resistance. These buildings exploded. We have witnesses that hear sounds of explosions. We started walking down the stairs, we made it to the eighth floor. Big explosion. You'd get down below and you'd see molten steel. Like molten thing. steel running down the channel wheels. Like you're in a foundry. Yeah. Like lava. Like, like, like lava. Like a volcano. 
This is all direct evidence of explosive controlled demolition. Well, that was a trailer for a new movie premiering September 11th, 2015. Firefighters, architects, and engineers expose 9-11 myths. Now, please welcome San Francisco Bay Area architect Richard Gage, AIA. He is a member of the American Institute of Architects, and he is the founder of Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth. So, Richard, welcome back to the show. It's great to have you on. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about World Trade Center 7, and obviously it's, it's so important to the whole 9-11 story. Now, the official story, it was just normal office fires that took this building down. Obviously, there's no precedent uh, before or after for something like this happening. Um, talk to me a little bit about maybe the behavior of the building and why it seems like that would be important to the 9-11 Commission to look into World Trade Center 7, yet they didn't. Exactly. The 2,000 architects and engineers that I represent are extremely disturbed because Building 7, the third skyscraper to collapse on 9-11, looks exactly like a controlled demolition, behaves like a controlled demolition, uh, and yet NIST claims eight years later in their official report that this building was brought down by normal office fires. Nobody's buying that. There's witnesses that hear explosions before the building comes down. In fact, the BBC even announced the collapse of this building 20 minutes before it ever happened. So this is absolutely extraordinary. We know we've been not told the truth by NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technologies, and this is the red flag. Uh, this is the smoking gun of 9-11 that's caused so many architects and engineers to then turn their eye and look at the evidence for the explosive demolition of the Twin Towers, which we find abundantly. Right. And, and just from an eyewitness watching it, it came down in the exact same fashion as the Twin Towers, which, I mean, even that was just really bizarre to, to see a building topple from, you know, pancake from the top down like that. And then World Trade Center 7 falls in the exact same way. So, you know, you've spoken about this a lot. There's plenty of stuff online if people really want to get into it. Um, but you know, what, what's some new evidence, some new things that you're learning? Uh, obviously, I know you're working with a lot of firefighters now as well, first responders. So what are, what are some new things that you're, some breakthroughs you're kind of working with? Indeed, Eric Lawyer, the founder of Firefighters for 9-11 Truth, uh, now numbering 200 firefighters calling for a new investigation. Uh, he cites in this new film, which we're premiering here in New York um, uh, tomorrow night, uh, he cites uh, the, 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 the destruction of evidence, the illegal destruction of evidence in a crime scene. He cites the spoilation of evidence, uh, which are guidelines uh, from the National Fire Protection Association that he goes through one by one, where you're supposed to look for and test for explosives and incendiaries when you have the hallmarks of them. And we do uh, everywhere. There's uh, hundreds of witnesses of explosions, but not one of them ap appear in official reports. So this is what caught Eric's attention too, because they say if you have high temperatures like that fire can't even produce, like twice those temperatures, molten steel, molten iron, which is what we have abundantly of, documented by first responders, structural engineers, et cetera, in the, in the piles under the World Trade Center towers, uh, this is all uh, a re requires th them, NIST, to look for evidence of explosives. They say they um, didn't find any. Later they acknowledge in writing, that they never looked for it. So we'll be talking about the, what was found by an international team of scientists led by Niels Harrett uh, with small red-gray chips of very high-tech nanothermite in all the dust samples that they independently collected. Yeah, absolutely. And I thought that that was really bizarre, you know, many, many years ago when I heard that they were hauling everything away so quickly and shipping it off to China and that that was supposed to be completely normal and they were doing it because it was just such a, source site and they wanted everyone to move on and to, to start the healing process. And yet here we have one of the most tragic thing that's ever happened in, here in America and they're hauling away anything to see what could have possibly happened that day. Now I know that you are, uh, you've erected a billboard there right outside uh, the New York Times basically demanding some answers. Um, they were part of the establishment media that was complicit in obeying George W. to not tolerate any, you know, conspiracy theories when really that's what you do as an investigative journalist. You look at the facts and you say, this isn't all adding up. So, you know, years later now, we can talk to the establishment media and, you know, what, what are you kind of charging them with? 
Well, we're charging them with the complete censorship of the story of the crime of the century. It is not being played uh, on mainstream media whatsoever. Thank God for Infowars and other uh, excellent outlets who are putting forth the evidence uh, that uh, David Sanger, chief Washington correspondent of the New York Times, claims is not there. That's why this 30-foot-tall billboard is put right in front of their office. And we're going to be out there with a press conference uh, in front of his office uh, laying all this evidence out and demanding that the New York Times take, take accountability and, and, uh, and cover this story. After all, 9-11 uh, spawned two major wars in which over a million people have perished, uh, which is why, by the way, we're reading all, all of the names of those of those folks, not we, but an independently hosted uh, candlelight vigil, which is very important to acknowledge everything that's happened since uh, 9-11 right. uh, here in New York, the, the people that have, have laid down their lives. Um, we, also, uh, we also are demanding uh, an investigation of the investigators themselves, uh, NIST, uh, not just the media. We actually need an investigation of our, our actual rec elected representatives whom we have given the petition to and our DVD and our other reports uh, when we had 1,000 architects and 2,000 architects and engineers calling for a new investigation. We just keep on going every year. We get millions more people involved, like we were able to reach on C-SPAN, fortunately, 3 million people, and which in a video which has become Washington Journal's uh, number one seen video on that program, for C-SPAN. So we are making some headway, Leanne. Absolutely. And the whole motto after 9-11 was never forget. And we will never forget. And we will not let them forget that there is plenty of footage out there, thanks to the internet, thanks to people who are tirelessly chipping away at this. We will never forget 9-11. And we're not going to allow them to shove the official story down our throats so that it just becomes some sort of a meme. Now, very quickly, I think we got about a minute left. Um, your new movie is going to be premiering uh, September 11th of this year. Firefighters, architects, and engineers expose 9-11 myths. It's pretty exciting. Uh, we're going to take the myths one by one. We go through a dozen of them. Eric Lawyer and myself together on the stage. Um, we, we highlight, uh, you know, was there, was there only two towers? No. We talk about the third tower that we just mentioned. Um, did was there raging fires in that third building? No. Uh, is there was there a, a, the a correct handling of the evidence? No. Uh, we go through it all in the twin towers. Was there the, has there ever been a fire that's brought down a skyscraper? No. <laughs> it's just not happened. So we go through it all. It's it's a great method to show the American people and your listeners uh, who can. Who can get this DVD, by the way, on our website, which is ae911truth.org, along with a lot of other evidence that's being used by the 9-11 Truth Movement because the architects and engineers have the technical credibility mm. that it has been necessary uh, to get the word out to people. They, they tend to get it right away when they hear it uh, from building and technical professionals. Well, thank you so much, Richard Gage, founder of Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth. We sincerely appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much, Leanne. That's it for the show tonight. Thank you for joining us. If you're watching us on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you here again tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central. A clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different cleansing products. We use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. 
You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.